everyone. Today is a Q&A slash vlog. So this morning I had breakfast alone because Brian was sleeping, but I had to work. The girl had to work. And then I posted on my Instagram page. So if you don't follow me, follow me now. It's sorry where I asked you to ask questions because Brian and I would make a Q&A video and then I worked for a couple hours and now it's right before lunchtime. Let's go get baby boy. Hello. Hello. I want to make a Q&A video. Can oh. you come with me? Yes, but I have to finish this first. What are you doing? Playing a crazy game. Okay, I'll wait for you. We arrived. Are you ready for the Q&A? Yeah. I have the questions here. They're in Italian, you have to translate. Yeah, I have to translate them. I pick one, you pick one. Was it easy to get used to eating everyday foods from a different culture, like a different cuisine? Yes. Um, okay. Because the cuisines I went to have good food, Japan and Italy. You're lucky, that's true. And I'm also not picky at all. Like, had I gone to Latvia, who knows? <laughs> I'm sure I have followers from Latvia. Yeah, I agree. Japanese cuisine is like my favorite cuisine ever. I'm sorry, Italian followers, but I love Japanese food. But I did miss cheese. Parlate in Italiano, vi prego. Speak Italian, please. No. No? <laughs> Dai, si. Qualcosa. Ecco, ho parlato in Italiano. Other than the language, what have y'all learned from each other? Anything about like diet and food and health and stuff? For me, I'd say, I don't know, many things. Baseball? The rules? No, but something that is like on a deeper level. I've seen it, but I haven't learned it. I shouldn't get too worried about small things. Sometimes that can help. That can save you some trouble. But a lot of times it's just a lot of worrying. But you should learn to worry a little bit more about things. Now I pick. Favorite TV show? Ever? It just says your favorite TV show? The Office. I've liked many. Lost, when it was, you know, Lost. I love Game of Thrones. Yeah, maybe Game of Thrones. Does married life feel the same or different? Probably a little different. The love is deeper. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know. Is that the way? I'd say it does feel a little bit different just because it's like that was your decision, now you have to stick with it and you have to make it work. So, yeah. Even if my hair looks like this. <laughs> People know we can't leave the house, so you know. Between you and Brian, do you speak more Italian or English? English. It all started when we were in Japan and I was an English teacher and I was fully committed to only speaking English with Brian. And then we did that for like two years and Sonia forced me to speak English all the time and now it's hard for me to speak Italian to her. Sometimes we do speak Italian. And also just being in Italy, sometimes I want to speak English so we end up speaking English mainly. How come y'all didn't go on a honeymoon? We went on a pre-marriage honeymoon to Nippon. We went to Japan for three months before the wedding and then we thought we would go to America. We should after. literally be in America right now. I know, we should have left yesterday. Hence the angry mood by Sonia. Am I angry? Yeah. I should literally be going to the Rockies game today. That was supposed to be part of our honeymoon. It's not really a honeymoon, but we, you know, we made Our choices. whole life is a honeymoon. Okay, my turn. Oh, I love this. Like some names for a boy and a girl we'd like to give our children. But we don't reveal that info. Why not? It's ours. People will steal our name. We do have a couple names. Everyone does, but we don't reveal that. Info. No? All right, that's my husband's decision. Being able to invite anyone in the world as a guest for dinner, who would you invite? Okay, I need someone who's chill, who won't judge my food too much and my hospitality because I'm not an expert, so not a cook. I'd probably invite Wiz Khalifa. <laughs> Do I have to cook? Don't think about it like that. Just what person would you want to talk to and come over? My English teacher, Eminem. It's my turn. When you married Brian, did you change your last name? Uh, I know, in America they do it, but we're living in Italy now and in Italy it's not common to do it, so I decided to keep my maiden name, Cristofori, because I feel like it's more natural in Italy to say Cristofori instead of Miller. 
it's just a little weird but i think if we decided to move to america it's a possibility that i would change my name because i think it's way easier to say miller than cristofori your turn are y'all the same age no i'm younger i'm younger brian this is for you your favorite nba nfl ml B team, what the hell is MLB? NBA, I don't really follow teams, but I just like LeBrizzle, aka LeBron. If I had to choose a team, Nuggets, NFL, Broncos, MLB, Rockies, Lego. What do you like in vlogging? What's your motivation? Hmm, me? So at first, when I did it, it was just an experiment. I didn't know what to expect. And then when I was in Japan, I noticed that it was fun. It was actually more fun to bring the camera and shoot a video. You know, you have it instead of a picture. And I also watch my own vlogs a lot when I want to go back to Japan, America, that moment in life. And then I created a small community. I know I don't have a big channel but i really like my community people are really nice and supportive and they make me feel like they care about me and so i want to tell them what's going on with my life if you could travel anywhere for free where would you go i'd probably go to a hot beach with nice water and good food like hawaii even like sardinia would be good yeah just as long as there's not too many people around and like it's just me and sony chilling on a beach the sun's hot on my skin yeah it's a little unlike me, but usually I would say I go back to Japan or I'd go to Korea, Seoul, Taiwan. I wanted to go to Singapore actually. Yeah, I would like to go to Singapore, but in this exact moment, I'll go anywhere with Brian on a desert island or a beach. Right now, I just want to go chill. What's your biggest fear? The biggest fear is to lose the people I love. Duh. How about you? Please don't say sharks. Everything. <laughs> Why would I have said sharks? It's not like a serious fear, but I really don't like insects. So this question is not a question. It's like, can you and Brian do the chair challenge? What's the chair challenge? Let's do it. Yes, we can. I don't know what that is, but we can. Okay, so two steps back. One, two. Is it that hard? <laughs> no! Put one behind. Okay, lean your head down. And now try to stand up. Oh, okay. Wait. It was just about finding the balance. Like this. Oh, this is good. Which of your partner's qualities would you want? Like, hard working. You would want to be hard working? I would want to be, yeah. Sometimes I feel like you think I'm stupid for being hard working. Oh, you just don't know when to take a break. That's why you're always tired. For me, I'd say I want... The opposite. The opposite. Chilling. I, I would like to know how to relax. Because I kind of feel guilty if I don't have anything to do. There's never a time where I don't have anything to do. Because honestly, there's always something you can do. There's this video is work. making me seem like the worst. Why? First of all, I cannot stand my appearance in this video. But people know when you have a fight, do you fight in Italian or in English? This is a good one. We never fight. Oh, no, we do. So when we fight, something weird happens. <laughs> it's completely random. Sometimes we fight in our native languages and sometimes we just fight in a language like Italian or English and sometimes we switch languages it's happened that we were fighting and i was speaking english and he was speaking italian you're hungry let's go and have lunch and this is me being extremely happy because right before lunch i received the package delivered straight to my house one of my followers is a baker like a professional baker actually like a cake designer i think and she decided to give us one of her creations i had no idea what the cake would look like and here i was really curious to open that package but look at these cupcakes so cute i'm starting to feel like i'm a youtuber this was a cool surprise it was youtube themed and it was beautiful it had that little sonia candy and with the italian flag and briller with the american flag and it gave me the thumbs up so if you haven't done it yet click that like button 
is the first time that I've received a like a professional cake but I want to leave the link to her creations below in the info box because she's a good baker and it's so perfect and let's see if it's good I don't want to cut it, it's so beautiful, but I want to eat it. Let's do it. Say goodbye to the beauty. No, I had cut from behind. <gasps> wow. If you're curious, the cake had two layers. The first one was Nutella and the second one was Dulce de Leche and it was really, really good. Delicious. All right, we were supposed to have lunch, but we literally had three slices of cake each so i guess we're good now <laughs> the advantages of being a famous youtuber brand and i have been watching this show it's called the ozark just ozark i like it let's rest and i'll have one more lesson in 30 minutes so yes all right i was teaching over there and Brian came downstairs and he was like, Sonia, I might need your help to cut my hair. I haven't seen him yet. He was wearing a hat. Let's go and see what he did. Oh my God. Why did he do it? Kylie, Kylie, are you watching this? Kylie is Brian's sister and she's a hairstylist. Like, Kylie, do something. Wait. It's not done yet. It's fine, it's just the, I'm in the middle of it. I, the sides are done, but I need your help cutting the top and the back. It's all good. Terrible? I don't know, it's just weird, I guess. Yeah, I just need your help. Okay, so when you cut hair, you have to kind of like distinguish the sides from the top, but you also have to do the sides from the back, and I don't think my back's completely done, so you have to cut it still. You see, like, babe, get this off camera. I Let's want him to know. Okay, we'll show them the final product though too. It's not done. Of course it looks weird now. I am not a hair stylist. I have no idea it, it what takes, to do. It's not hard. I told you in my previous vlog this was gonna happen. We're in quarantine. You gotta do what you gotta do. Guys, I'm glad Sonia reacted on camera. She would have been more angry. It's okay. Honestly, I don't mind this hooligan look. I think it's done. No, babe, okay. I need help finishing off the back part. Alright. Kylie! Why? <laughs> Sorry, Kylie. It's not bad, right? What? It's crazy, but it's fine. Mm -hmm. First, we're just gonna trim the top a little bit. We're gonna leave the very front long. Trim the middle and back more. Just grab as much hair as you need, and then you do. Ready? I think it's dangerous. Also, guys, I was not ready to show my bathroom. It was a mess, but yeah, already know. <laughs> definitely fucked up. I mean, you look kind of hot with this messy look. I'll leave you to your styling. In the afternoon, I worked. I had a couple more lessons, and when I finished, I decided that it was time for me to treat myself, so I had a cupcake. It was so good. And you know me, because I always eat stuff on the weekend, and then I want to be healthy, I decided that I wanted to work out, and I asked Brian to work out with me, but for the 10th time in a row, Call of Duty one. So I worked out by myself. And as you know, I always work out like 30 or 40 minutes a day. Sometimes I do cardio, sometimes I use elastic bands. It depends, I mix, it's really helpful. After that, I started making dinner. For dinner, I decided to make Vietnamese rolls. I am pretty sure that if you're from Vietnam and you're watching this, you're like, what the hell, these are not Vietnamese rolls. Yes, they're not. They're actually Italian rolls because I put a lot of Italian random ingredients in there, but they're good. Telekimasu. Mmm, oishiso. Guys, Sonny-san misses Japan. I do. After dinner, we watched something. Obviously, that's like, a very common thing to do when you're quarantined and that's it thank you guys for watching really i like making videos for you even in this weird period of our lives so thank you see you next time <laughs>